Okay, here's another small video. I got a phone call in the mix. This is Mayfield's homeless shelter that is totally destroyed. It is so destroyed. So sad. Okay, there's the water tower, guys. I can't get around because they're demolishing. Uh, I'm trying to clean up a little bit or get it at least out of the road. Thankfully, our house is fine. We do have a generator. Um, they're going to connect it before tonight. We will have heat. Hopefully, they can get the water system back up um, and running. Um, hopefully, they can get the power going so I can go to work. Um, it doesn't look like anybody's going to work for a while, but a lot of lives were lost, and we need to pray for those, especially a four-year-old little boy. Um, he was just at home with his family and, um, he didn't make it. His house got knocked to the ground and he was one of the kids and, um, I guess the rest of them are in the hospital, but, um, yeah, it's so sad. And the homeless shelter for abused and homeless women and children where are they going to go, you know? Um, so, yeah, we need, to, we need to pray for Mayfield. And if you're not from Mayfield and are just here because you want to see, you need to go home. But if you're here to help, we would love to have you. But I've seen a lot of to tourists. Literally tourists, people walking around with cameras, no badges from the news channel, no nothing. They are just here to get these shots for, you know, probably newspapers or this and that, whatever it might be, just to get a little dollar. There's a group of men up there making a plan. This is a church up here, an old church that is um, knocked down to the ground. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, this is over here by Midtown, behind Midtown. Um, demolished houses are gone. These houses right here are gone to the ground. Yeah, bless her heart. Look at the little boy has no home now. Tree out of the ground. The power lines are hanging by a thread. And I'm just trying to get home. These power lines are about to fall on these cars without a doubt. Without a doubt. We're going to get on the four-wheeler in a little bit and drive around and check on some people. It's going to be a lot easier to get around on a four-wheeler than it actually would be a car. Look at that pole. That is so dangerous. I mean, trees, trees. Oh my god.
god, just missed that house by a nick. Okay, this probably was in another video of mine, but this over here was the liquor store. It's not going to be missed. There's Lucky Mart. They must have power or a generator. They are open. The gas station is okay. It did not get hit. I mean, but there's just debris everywhere from the old tobacco barns. That was two blocks from me. So, right now, this is one side of my road. And then two blocks down was damaged, too. So, our house was fairly, barely missed. But, I'm going to end this video. I know it's another short video but my daughter is home now she got back from her dad she was safe in Melbourne when it happened um, but I'm just giving a little update and these are memories this will never be forgotten um, a little traumatized but I am glad to say we are safe this is our road Nobody on our road got hit, but two blocks over, the old tobacco barn, her daddy's shop, where he details cars, got hit really bad. Um, there's some damage right there, and I'm literally, at the top of that hill is my house. Um, if you see this big piece of metal right here, it's just hanging. It's just hanging. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this can help somebody.